Stamping is related to the extraction of soil or rock from the board hole. Stamping can be divided into two groups, undisturbed sample, disturbed sample. Undisturbed sample is taken out for testing the properties in laboratory without disturbing its structure, texture, density, natural water content, and stress condition. A disturbed sample is one in which the structure of the soil has been changed sufficiently that tests the structural properties of the soil will not be representative on in situ condition and only properties of the soil grains. There are five methods of sampling test pits, team wall sampler, soil penetration test, cone penetration test, and laser sampling. These are the definitions of test pits. Choose a location for the test pit. Mark out your 1M times 1M test pit using the measuring tips. Record the location of the test pits. Draw a plane on the location of your test pit. Excavating the first layer and spread out the top lane about 1 meter away from the closest side of the test pit. Use a sharp spade or the turfing tool to cut round your test pit and cut squares or roll up the curve. Remove soil from the test pit using a metal shovel and trowel. Use a sieve to sieve all the soil on the soil hill. Place any finds in the finds tray and write down the labels. These are the advantages of test pits. And these are the disadvantages of test pits. Kingwall sample is a soil sampling barrel made from steel tubing having approximately a 16 gauge wall thickness. This is the process of tin wall sampler. The tube is pushed down into the soil and after driving the shepherd's shelly tube, the sampler is turned out and taken out of the hole. The advantage is cheapness and simplicity of operation. However, for the disadvantages, it's poor cleaning of borehole and problem of sample retention during withdrawal. Maser sampler is a triple tube sampling with a core size of 74 mm and requires a hash casing. This is the procedure of maser sampling. They lower down a triple tube sampler and pump a flush fluid. After that, they rotate and drill rods out of the hole. The advantages are undisturbed core samples from soft soil 0.1 MPA and new wall coefficient. The disadvantages is has a limited depth of sampler. Soil penetration test is an in-situ dynamic penetration test designed to provide information on the geotechnical engineering properties of soil. The test is conducted in a borehole by means of a standard split spoon sampler. Once the drilling is done to the desired depth, the drilling tool is removed and the sampler is placed inside the borehole. The number of blows of hammer required to drift a depth of 150 mm is counted. These are the advantages and disadvantages of the standard penetration test. Penetration test is considered very useful in determining the bearing capacity of pits in cohesionless soil, particularly in fine sands of varying density. This is the process of CPT. A 60 degree comb with face area 10 cm square and 15 cm square friction sleeve is hydraulically pushed into the ground. By applying a measure force to the road, the cone is pushed into the soil at a constant speed of penetration. And these are the advantages and disadvantages of comb penetration test. And that's all from me. Thank you.